What is up guys? It's BT back here again with another review. Today we have an update to my setup and it's something that's often overlooked and that is a good productivity computing chair. The one that I picked up is the Steelcase Leap version one. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've had the Ikea market since the beginning of time. I've done most of my reviews out of that chair. And after a while, the mesh on the back started to give out. It started to get loose. The lumbar support wasn't in the correct position for somebody of my height. So it wasn't really adjustable. It was kind of a one size fits all. And of course, you know, with one size fits all, you can run into some problems. You know, there's not a lot of adjustability with that chair. While I do think it's a great chair for the value, I think that your money can go a little bit further with something more adjustable. And so here we are, the Steelcase Leap version one. A very adjustable chair. When I sat in it, I knew that I had to have it. Now I picked it up from a consignment store for about 125 bucks. So I know they go for about five to 600, so it's not really comparable to the Ikea Marcus, but you know what, go try to find a used one if you can, or go to a consignment store and pick up one for cheap. I mean, why not? So for me, my back likes to take over a lot in my day-to-day -day life, whether it's just walking around, lifting, my back takes a punishment. And so I need something that's gonna really support my lower back, especially when editing videos for a long time or gaming for a long time, or just browsing, watching movies and relaxing after work. Now the one thing before we get into this review is I want you guys to think about adjustability and customization. So one thing that really stood out to me, like I said, was the lower back support, the lumbar support. Now they have the band in the back like the Ikea Marcus, but you can move this band up and down on your seat to put it in the most comfortable and most supporting position for yourself. It also comes with an adjuster so that you can adjust the tension for your lower back. If you want something more stiff or something more flexible when you push your back into this back of the seat, you can do that with this chair. It has been working wonders for me, all this customization for the lower back. I have been able to sleep better. I wake up feeling more refreshed and not aching from sitting in my Ikea Marcus the whole time. So I really enjoy doing work and sitting in this chair. It allows me to work for a longer period of time as well. You know, when your back isn't starting to hurt, you can always just lean back. When your back isn't hurting as much, you can obviously work for longer. Now it's recommended for any chair that you have that after a while, you can lean back in your chair and kind of give your lower back a little rest, recline a little bit and give your back a little, re a little rest. So with this chair, they also have a knob where you can adjust how much tension you want when you recline. You can also do how much you want it to recline so you can do about four different stops going backwards. So you can really customize this chair and adjust it to your specific needs. Also, one thing that, another thing that I've never seen on another chair is that the bottom slides in and out. That is a really cool feature because you know, sometimes you, you want to sit further back in your chair. You want to be deeper into your chair. And sometimes you want to be uh, more shallow and want to be having your hang, uh, your legs hanging over the seat a little bit. So it's just very customizable. I've never seen that before. You can also adjust the seat edge and make it come up a little bit so that you can have a little like a bucket seat almost, or you can have more of a shallow seat where your leg, like I said, legs are hanging off. You know, you can kind of make it to how you want it. Now the padding on the armrest, I really like. It's foam material and I, since I've been using them, what I noticed on the Ikea Marcus is when I put my elbows down to rest, the, the elbows start to bend out, <laughs> okay? So with these, they're, they stay and keep their same shape. They're very comfortable to put your arms on. You know, some chairs, when you put your elbows onto them, you can almost feel the metal beneath it. With these, that's not the case. They really keep their shape, but at the same time, they're very comfortable. They're not very rigid, so it's really nice. And they also swivel in, which I, I really like as well. They swivel in so that you can also put your elbows on there at whatever angle you like to work at. So when I say adjustability and customization, 
you're really getting the total package with this chair. Now you can also bring the chair up and down, of course, like any other chair. You can adjust it up, down, decide depending on how tall or short your desk is. So just think that it's just a great looking chair. It's very modern looking and I really enjoy having it with my setup and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. The only negative that I would say is that when you sit down in it, it kind of sinks down and then when you come up, you know, it really like rises up. So like, let's say my arms are underneath, my armrests are underneath my desk when I sit down and I adjust them there. And then once I like pop up, it'll rock my whole desk. So it kind of sinks when you sit down in it, but I mean, it's kind of a, a nitpicking thing with this chair. Other than that, I do wish it had a headrest, but it's, it's comfortable. I can lay my head back onto the top of the chair and I feel just fine. So I know I get a lot of questions on what chair I have and now I've answered that. This is my newest chair. This is the chair that I will be having for a very long time. And I think if I was to get another chair, it would probably be a steel case chair. I really enjoy just how well made this chair is and how thought out this chair is. All right guys, so that has been my review on my new chair. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review and I will see you guys in the next video.